Eric and Lyle Menendez were convicted of the 1989 murder of their parents at their Los Angeles home. They have been behind bars for 34 years, but there is new evidence that is leading LA's district attorney to take another look. Our Natalie Morales has done extensive reporting on this and has the story. Yesterday, the Los Angeles County District Attorney George Gascon revealed that the emergence of new evidence in the case of Eric and Lyle Menendez could lead to a resentencing. We have been given a photocopy of a letter that allegedly was sent by one of the brothers to another family member talking about him being the victim of molestation. In 1989, the Menendez brothers made headlines for the murder of their parents, Jose and Kitty. Their trial was must-watch TV at the time. They were convicted in 1996 and have been serving life sentences ever since. The brothers, now 53 and 56, have never denied killing their parents, but say they were repeatedly sexually abused by them and committed the crime because they feared for their lives. Late last year, I spoke to Lyle Menendez about the new evidence in their case. What did you think when you heard about these new claims and evidence. I mean, for me, I just was happy. Just a burden to be telling what happened to and just have so much doubt in the public air. If the judge finds this evidence credible, I think it is sufficient to give them a new trial. Cliff Gardner is an appellate lawyer for the brothers. He says the new evidence includes a letter that was recently found in storage that Eric reportedly wrote to his cousin eight months before the murders. Every night I stay up thinking he might come in. I'm afraid. He's crazy. He's warned me a hundred times about telling anyone, especially Lyle. No one knew about it at trial. It was never presented. Another attorney for the brothers, Mark Garagos, also spoke, saying the reviewing of the new evidence is long overdue. We've got a much more robust and evolved understanding of abuse. I think it's time. Their family thinks it's time. And their appellate attorney, Cliff Gardner, told us, quote, I will take George Gascon at his word that he is taking a close look at the case. I'm pleased by it because I think that anyone that takes a look at that evidence is going to walk away with the understanding those boys were molested as children. Now, there is a November 26th deadline for the DA's office to submit an informal response. But, guys, needless to say, this is going to be a long legal process. This was a habeas petition that was filed a year and a half ago with the district attorney's office. So now they're just getting to reviewing the case. And George Gascon, we should mention, he is up for re-election at this time. And back then, Natalie, you certainly didn't talk about child molestation the way that we talk about it now. Yeah. And it's so surprising yeah. to me that a letter that crucial is just coming to light now. Yes, this was a letter that was in storage for many, many years. And this was a letter that Eric wrote, um, which, you know, would show that, you know, this, this was a letter that was written eight months prior to the murders. Yeah. And it would add to more evidence, perhaps, uh, that they yeah. were that they were abused. Yeah, and I just heard that 23 of the family members also want, we keep calling them the boys, but the Menendez brothers out. They said they've spent enough time in jail. Wow. We'll be following this case. Yes. Thank you, Natalie. Thank Absolutely. you very much. Always Thank you.